So, Arsenal 3, Manchester United 1. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, it didn't look like it was going to be a 3-1. It looked like it was going to be a 1-1. And up steps Declan Rice, the £100 million pound man. Uh, before we get into that, make sure you are smashing the like button to the moon. To the infinity and beyond. Uh, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are sharing the content around. Follow Lee Reacts. Very close to 20k. I've been slacking on there. I know I ain't put a video out for about 9, 10 days. Tomorrow onwards, back on the grind. I've needed a bit of a chilled out week. Uh, so I've done the bare minimum this week. I'm not going to lie. I was moving like Kai Havertz in midfield. Uh, we're coming to him. You best believe we're coming to him. And um, yeah, I'll be back on there. So make sure you go and check that out. Follow my Twitter as well, uh, Lee, Lee G X 82 I'll leave a link in the description anyway. Uh, so go and follow that. Big up to everyone. Six and a half thousand of you already on there. I've had it, what, a week? So, yeah, big up to everyone. Uh, but anyway, the starting 11. Thomas Party. Thomas Party. Cheers, guys. We're on the cruise campo this evening. Thomas Party. This football club... I think they're smart but they're not smart and they very 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 nearly um cost us in fact they probably have cost us because he's out for two to four months and they knew this on thursday the window shut at 11 o'clock on friday so they probably have cost us didn't they they didn't cost us today but they've cost us going forward and they thought they could finesse this fan base into believing that he was in training yesterday by posting out some moody picture of him, like from his nose downwards. Like, absolute disgrace. But anyway, enough of that. He weren't in the team. Uh, we went back to our back four, the normal back four. And oh, look, we looked so much better, didn't we? Not rocket science, Mikel. Um, Kai Havertz, still in the team, missed probably, which will be at the end of the season, the worst possible miss of the season, probably over all leagues, because that, my friends, was shambolic, and it weren't good enough, and he ain't good enough. And then, after he misses that sitter, he then decides to do an aimless pass when it was pretty much a straight pass, but aimlessly just, oh, I'll pull it over there a little bit with no power on it. Bish, bash, bosh, Rashford 1-0. He should have been hooked at that point. And unbelievably, he comes back out for the second half. Obviously, we got back in the game. Martin Odegaard, what a finish, mate. What a finish. Yeah, keep shooting because you have got a good shot on you. So keep doing that. Keep shooting. But anyway, anyway, we move to the second half. And he comes back out, Havertz. And I'm like, why is he back on the pitch? Man United... Yeah, I'm not worried about Kai Havertz. Let's just be real with it. We weren't playing great. Man United weren't playing great. Yeah, it was two average teams that have started the season pretty average in their performances. And as soon as we hook him off, all of a sudden, Arsenal played better football. Um, could have had a penalty. It weren't a penalty for me, by the way. He dived. Yeah, great decision from the, from the VAR. I do think, however... Yeah, there could have been a red card, two red cards. On another day, Saka could have got sent off, even though I think he was fouled and it was a foul on him. I, I could see on another day somebody getting sent off for that. And I think Dallow, was it Dallow on Eddie and Ketia? I thought that was a red card as well. But Anthony Taylor, Arsenal's ref. And um, yeah, the second half, um, we obviously subbed Havertz off. Again, reactionary from the manager. Yeah, it wasn't proactive. Let me make the changes first. It was, I'm going to react to Man United's changes. That drives me insane. Yeah, it really winds me up that he does that. Then why don't you just do... In the end, it got us a result. Cool. But that is not going to get us a result week in, week out. Be more proactive. Yeah, be more, you know, I'm going to make the first move. I'm going to, you know, step it up. I'm going to... What have I done here? I'm going to, um, I'm going to make the first move in this chess game. Now, I understand you can't do it every week. Yeah, because there's different circumstances. But that game was crying out for Jesus or Trossard to come on. Yeah, that game was crying out for a little bit of 
injection of pace, trickery, you know, a little bit of speed. Martinelli, I thought, was superb today. Very, very close to getting my man of the match. But for me, Declan Rice, yeah, he is just brilliant. Yeah, I love watching him play. He is such a top player. Yeah, and he's really taken to Arsenal like a duck to water. He's been absolutely quality. And I'm so buzzing that he got his first goal. And again, when, you, when you're seeing Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans on the pitch, I mean, come on. Really? Yeah, and I think it was a Maguire mistake, wasn't it? I think it bounced off of Maguire, didn't it? So, so yeah, cheers for that. Harry Maguire, salute. But all in all, um, Jesus then uh, wraps it up. All the fans that left the stadium... Arsenal fans that left the stadium missed the best goal of the day. Obviously, Man United had a goal disallowed for offside. Correct decision. I thought the officials done all right today, apart, apart from that one on Eddie. I thought maybe that was a red, but it, maybe it was harsh. I don't know. But, yeah, all in all, we got the win. And um, Rasmus came on. I thought Gabriel handled him pretty well. He, he looks like he's going to rough a few people up. He looks like he's going to... He looks rapid, by the way. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be a bit of a handful. But ultimately, Gabriel Magalhaes stepped up and said, no, you ain't having it today, mate. And that was his first start this season for, for Arsenal. So, yeah, big up to him. All the Gabbies played well today. Then yeah, I don't think um, I don't think Saka did anything today. I don't think he was great at all. He's not looked great all season. He didn't look great at the last eight games of last season. And I think it's about time that maybe we rotate him a little bit. Yeah, maybe put Jesus out on the right. Yeah, and sit him down for a couple of games. Obviously, it's international break now, so he's going to play for England. But, yeah, for me, that wasn't a great performance, but we got the job done. And we've got to get the job done earlier than leaving it until the last two seconds of a game that we keep doing. Why does this keep doing this? I don't know what's going on here. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, we can't keep leaving it until the last minute, like 94th, 95th minute, 97th, 98th minute. We can't keep leaving it that late. Yes, you still get the three points. But ultimately, we're not going to be able to do that in every single game, right? So we've got to get it done early. And as soon as we took Kai Havertz off the pitch, all of a sudden, Vieira comes on. I thought he, he played well when he came on. Tommy Asu, I thought, did well when he came on. Today, the manager's subs worked. Well done. Yeah, they worked today. Fair play to Arteta. But be more proactive, mate. Yeah? If he doesn't sit there tonight watching that game back and seeing that Kai Havertz is not the guy, yeah, I'm sorry, then we're in for a tough season, a long season. Yes, we got the points on the board at the minute, this, that, and the other, but it is what it is, isn't it? Like, I know where we're at. I know this manager ain't the guy. Yeah, and I know that he's um, he's going to cost us this season. And I'm, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Um, but anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments down below. Uh, who was your man of the match? Was it Martinelli? Was it Rice? Uh, maybe it was somebody else. Let me know. Uh, but for me, we got to play better. And if we took our chances today, we would have battered them because they're not a very good team. They're really not a very good team. So I don't understand why he keeps persisting with Kai Havers. Because he could genuinely play Smith Rowe in there and be better. You know, he could play, I don't know, Vieira in there and maybe we'd be better. He could put Trossard in there. He's done it before. So this Kai Havertz... Yeah, I think personally is going to cost us this season because his arrogance as a manager is going to persist with playing him week in, week out because he's, oh, he won his duels. Nobody cares. Did you score? No. You dived. He was lucky he didn't get booked. That is mad. It's actually peak. And the thing is, listen, ultimately, it's great to beat Man United. But are we going to beat Man City? Probably not. Are we going to win the title? No. So... It's a great win. I like beating Man United, but ultimately it's not going to lead to a successful season because we ain't going to win the league. Yeah, we ain't going to win the league. So it is what it is, isn't it? But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. And again, can I just say one more thing as well before I wrap this up here? Yeah? Trossard and Smith Rowe, what have they done to not get a game? What have they actually done to not get a game? I don't get it. How can you sub on Reese Nelson instead of Trossard? Make that make sense. Yeah, that that is, for me, that is no good. Now, how are you subbing on Reese Nelson instead of Trossard when Trossard got us the community shield basically by getting his equalizer? Since then, he's been hooked at half time and now he's on the bench again. And all of these other players are coming on. Yes, listen, it worked today. Cool. 
Yeah, but Trossard should be in that team. Yeah, he's our best player. Uh, but what do I know? I'm just negative and toxic. Uh, so let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments section. And uh, we're out of here. Adios amigos. Ciao.